It's a skin disease. Hey, I already started. We already started. Yeah. Yeah. In the medicine they take, they gotta keep it in the fridge. They gotta keep it cold in the fridge. Yeah. He said that. I said, all hey, right. Hey, what you say, baby? You said, bitch, is Ashley dead? Yeah. Is she a young girl? I think that's what I'm telling you. Ah! Girl, hold on to that. Go ahead, you start it off. Oh, make it a video. Oh, go ahead. Oh, the introduction? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, yeah. All right, so oh, yeah, all praise the glory to y'all. Push me outside. They're going to send Pops to GMS. And show them to the elect out there with a hopeful elect. Show them on. Get uh, James to, I think. I was reading this. I was in the spirit. Nice and busy today. Uh, oh, let me find it real quick. Not two. Is it two? Maybe I meant three. <laughs> Which ones it says, uh, uh, James, uh, my fault, I'm slipping, man. Oh, no, 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 my fault, James Ford. James Ford. Oh, whatever. Yeah, Ford. Right here. Yeah, Ford for the top. What do you say? Which one? It's a mud. You know, they wear your pants going to hell. Yeah, that's what they still believe in. Tell us. They're talking about the other guys. Do it, James Ford. You go to hell for wearing pants? Yeah, you can. That's right. That's right. Talking about how you guys see so how you guys see people they going to hell? That means they're teaching mythology now. You know what I mean? They teaching fairy tales. There ain't no such thing as no hell in the Bible. Go ahead. James 4 and 1, it says, Whence come wars and fightings among you come they not hence, even of your lust that war in your members. You lust and have not, you kill and desire to have, and cannot obtain. Fight in war, yet ye have not, because ye ask not. Ye ask and receive not, because ye ask and miss, that ye may consume it upon your lust. It says, verse 4, ye, ye adulterers and adulteress, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? All right, because uh, it said, ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the Most High? That's all you see out here is adulterers and adulteresses. Like right before he started the video, he was like, what was you talking about? He said the women. <laughs> the women are a bunch of adulteresses. You know, the men too. They're a bunch of nasty, filthy faggots. You know, whores. But uh, the scriptures say the friendship of the world is enmity with the most high. So you're not supposed to be friends with the world. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you got to deal with these people. You got to work with them and stuff. But you, when you're on your spare time, you're not supposed to be out there having a good time, laughing it up with two thirds, kicking it with two thirds. You know what I mean? It's like a wolf and a hyena hanging out together. What a no, a lion and a, a, a lamb, yeah, something like that. You know, they don't got nothing in common. Let me get the car in there. Yeah, because a lot of brothers like uh, they think you. I've noticed that in the past, a lot of brothers would. Think they can trust two thirds and like, oh, they're cool though, they're cool though. No, they're not cool. And then your shit starts coming up missing. You know what I mean? You can't trust these people, man. If someone ain't coming in the spirit of the Heavenly Father, you can't trust them. I mean, you gotta deal with these people, but you can't trust them. You gotta be as wise as serpent. I pretend like some people are my friends. I'll be nice to them, you know what I mean? Do the best you can, acting. Yeah, you gotta, act. you gotta act. You do gotta act. Yeah, yeah. Here you go. This is uh, Sharak 13 and 14. Love the Lord all thy life and call upon him for thy salvation. Every beast loveth his like, and every man loveth his neighbor. All flesh is sort of according to kind. A man will cleave to his Oh yeah. What fellowship? 
All flesh consorteth according to con, and a man will cleave to his life. It's like you see two thirds with two thirds, and they run in packs, don't they? They deep as hell. You know, just like the righteous men, we 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 run in packs also. You know. Yeah. Uh, oh, and just like man. the scripture say, uh, uh, follow not a multitude to do evil. You know what I mean? That's right. Cause you see two thirds out there, they having a good time. They have that big house party popping. They got the liquor, they got the blunts popping and all that. Right. But you go out, go out and hang out with them, see what happens when that party gets shot up, when you get caught out there with them. Off the them parties always go bad, you know what I mean? Always. It's like the ones on campus. They always end up bad. Yeah. All flesh consorted for according to come, and a man will cleave to his like. What fellowship hath a wolf with the lamb? That's a good one. What uh -huh. fellowship have a wolf with a man? So the sinner with the godly. Nothing, man. There's nothing in common, you know? But once you become solid, this foundation. Once you got a solid foundation in this truth, you find out that you there's nothing. You have nothing in common with these motherfuckers, man. Right? Even the shit you do have in common, you don't have in common with them. You know? Yeah, because just like Lot was vexed by the conversation of the wicked. It's like if you're around like unbelievers all the time. You get tired of hearing all that nonsense they be talking about. And if you start bringing up history, because you know us, we're going to try to school them. Oh, for <laughs> we be bringing up history, going into conspiracy theories and all that. You know, they call you a buzz kid. Speaking parables. They be like, man, you need to get out of here with that shit. Because you, know, you know the, the conversation of the wicked, that vexes our spirit. But the conversation of the righteous vexes their spirit. You know what I mean? And every time they, I'll be trying to kick some knowledge and show these people out here. They, like, I ain't trying to hear that shit. All they, all they talk about is foolishness, man. That's right. That's right. And what's that's just an example of the Lord just calling them, man. And they're rejecting him just like Proverbs one did. He's calling them and he, they reject him, man. They be like, you man, know? you killing my high. Yep. You yep. killing my buzz. Yep. <laughs> all flesh can sort of according to kind, and a man will cleave to his life. What fellowship has the wolf with the lamb, so the sinner with the god? What agreement is there between the hyena and a, and a dog? <laughs> what, and, and what peace between the rich and the poor? You know, and we already experienced that. Been around these people with money, man. They ain't got no hobby. That's right. You know, they tell they tell you to call them, but they avoid your call when you call them. You know, shit. <laughs> wicked man. That's a wicked man. Uh, as the wild ass, as the wild ass is the lion's prey in the wilderness, so the rich eat up the poor. As the crowd hate humility. That's what we're talking about in the donuts stuff house. You know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they get your ass in that courthouse any way they can. Uh, Like America's a capitalist country. It's all about greed. You got all these people making billions of dollars. They ain't doing shit for the poor people. What did they say? Like a one percent of the population has like ninety percent of the wealth or something crazy? Yeah, that's some absurd shit. It's abs yeah, right. It's absurd. They just greedy as hell. They ain't trying to help nobody but themselves. They Here you go. <laughs> You're right. uh. This is Obadiah 5. If thieves came to me, if robbers by night, 
How art thou cut off? Would they not have stolen till they had enough? If gate gatherers came unto thee, would they not leave some grain? Right, cause yeah, cause Esau is greedy, bro. He ain't trying to leave nothing for nobody. For nobody. He came over and stole the Americas and that wasn't enough. Yeah. He had to go get the rest of the world. That's why they over there, they trying to overthrow uh, Kim Jong-un right now. They want Korea. Man. They already got South Korea, now they want North Korea. They need to hurry up, man. That's right. They done, they done uh, overthrew Libya, overthrew Iraq. You know, just meddling. Destroyed yeah, they just destroyed all them nations, man. They laid waste, man. Them places is like desert, man. You got no business being in them yeah. lands whatsoever. Yeah, they know. Business Esau got some damn Korea. You know, motherfuckers ain't bothered nobody, man. Right, ain't bothered nobody. Right, North Korea ain't been in a war in 60 years, but they the bad guy. America's been in a hundreds of thousands of wars in the past 60 years. But you ain't allowed to talk sense, though. Right. What's that called? They put in them bombs, they find it all over Iraq and Afghanistan. Depleted the rainy. Oh, yeah. yeah, man. They find that shit in the drinking water. It's everywhere now, man. They got kids born with five eyes and shit. Four arms. They said even no the, bu the bullets were tipped with your rainy. That's crazy, man. Yeah, yeah, that is crazy, man. <laughs> that is fucking crazy. And the fucked up thing about it, them fucking dumbass soldiers shooting that shit, they're breathing it in. You know? Dumbasses. They all proud of being American, fighting for this devil. Like you always see these assholes, you know, posting shit on the internet. Uh, <laughs> they always talking about we gotta support the troops. They fighting for our freedom. <laughs> well, what? For, first of all, for what freedom? You ain't got no freedom. You can't even drive down the street in a car without a license, registration, insurance. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got no freedom. That's just a dot. You can tell naive motherfuckers and shit. So just yeah. fight for the freedom. And they're not even fighting for that right. ass freedom. Right. They over there robbing people, killing, killing the innocent. And they say this is the land of the free and the home of the brave. And we supposed to be free already? Why we fighting for the freedom when we supposed to be free already? Ain't nothing right, but a big a ass point. lie. That's a good point. I'm saying we fighting for them to take more shit from other motherfuckers. Yeah, if we free, why they fighting for our freedom? You know? <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. Right, damn. That blew my mind. <laughs> Man, you ain't free to do shit out here. They put the Native Americans on the um the plant um what do you call them the little um reservations. They want the reservations back now too. They want that land. You know what I mean? Driving them off back oh, further and further. You know what I mean? <laughs> Stealing everything they can get their fucking hands on. The polar bears, all kind of shit they be stealing. Oh. No natural life. I'm gonna start at Habakkuk 2 and I'm gonna start at the top though. I will stand upon my watch and set me and set me upon the tower and will watch the sea. People are gone, bro. You just look at look at people and be like, man, they some gone, you know what I mean? You can see the spirit of deep sleep on these fools yeah, out here. Yeah, that's it. That's they just it walk around mindless. Yeah, just asleep. Ain't Lost in Columbus, about, Ohio. Ain't got no clue what's going on. I mean, it's not even a reality. It's mind man. It's like wild. I don't know who they're playing that bullshit music. Yeah. I wonder what country it is. Did you play the drums? Yeah. Or a nigga from the you know how they already rehearse being in Jamaican? Yeah. They practice it, y'all mom. That sounds like some average <laughs> shit. They rehearse that shit. I grew up with niggas like that, man. Jafakins. Pussies and little hoes growing up. Next thing you know, you run into them years later. They talk, they, they fluent Jamaican now. You know, fluent, fluent nigga Jamaican. Oh boy. You know, they got braids, like my brother, they got braids and skin. Oh man, proud, proud, proud. 
he will fix anything for you too. But let me continue. Well, I was reading this. It said before it got interrupted. He said he is a hireling and not the shepherd who own sheep or not see the wolf coming and leave it to sheep and flee it, and the wolf catches them and scatters the sheep. That's the little most these pastors. Even most these Israelite like groups too, man. Like when the wolf comes, like IUIC, they gonna deliver, you know, all them jakes to the to the wolf. Cause they teaching that the market uh market the beast is not the microchip. And they saying that it's gonna be okay to take that chip. So they gonna deliver their pasture to the wolves. You know what I mean? They gonna get devoured. The hireling pleads because he's a hireling and cares not for the sheep right. Nathaniel for IUIC don't care about this sheep. And your boy uh, Rakab from uh, GOCC, he don't care about this sheep. He led them motherfuckers out to the wilderness of an Egypt or something. <laughs> Get distracted out here. Now hire him, please. Huh? I don't think you ever made it. Oh, you can get back into that though. I was just wanting, mainly I want to bring that up. You know, the thief don't come, but they're still killing the story. That's right. Habakkuk 2 and 1, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what will he say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run. Hey, and sir, can I ask you something? For the, I'm sorry. Go ahead, man. Are you uh, <laughs> coming out of the Bible? Yeah. Can you change? Yep. Why was up? Nothing. I just want to ask uh-oh, who got the old English? You know, he's a big... He's about to get two, boy. I just want to know. I don't know. Who's that on your arm, then? Huh? What's that? Who's that? That's Jesus. There ain't a description of Jesus Christ in the Bible. No, there's no description. It is a description of Christ in the Bible. You said you read the You know who that is? Look, look, I'm going to show you who this is, dude. The Lord and his father is in the Bible. Hey, dude, look. This is, your, this is who that is, man. You need to be saved. You need to be saved. You're saved in this, you know. Yes, sir. You're saved out of this space. You're saved mentally out of this world. I can read it for you real quick. That's who he got tatted on his arm. Uh, Revelation. Caesar Borgia. Uh, Revelation 1 and uh, Revelation 1 and 14. This is the revelation of the one they call Jesus Christ. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Actually, let me start at 13. In and order in for him to, to write this, he had a vision, so he wrote it. Okay? So, Revelation, we're filling back. You, know, you guys right? go off the Old Testament or New Testament? We go off both of them. We go off the whole book. Like the whole book. Says. The Bible says to go off the whole book. And hey, let me read this real quick. Uh, Revelation 1 and 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, 